Okay, well, I've had a lot of interest from uh, a certain party uh, in Hartlepool, and uh, he showed great interest in these little bits and pieces that I've been doing. And uh, I think his name's, I think his uh, his uh, web nickname is the Leg. <coughs> but uh, anyway, he's been showing great interest. So what I'm going to talk about today for him is. Uh, the pieces, the plain pieces, and uh, I usually make the plain pieces myself, but just recently I thought, well, I'm getting on a bit, and I thought I, I didn't really want to work at these plain pieces, pieces, stand out in the shed and cut bits off bits of poles and things like that. I used to enjoy it, but it's, the fun's gone out a bit for some reason. The older you get, the less interested you get in physical labours. So um, I. Uh, I looked on the web and, uh, uh, oh, oh, not the web, I went into Amazon and they had lots of stuff but they didn't have, they had lots of plasticky bits and pieces and stuff I didn't really want. And uh, I looked in it from America and uh, the Americans have got everything you need, <laughs> absolutely everything you need. But the trouble with America is it, it's the shipping and not only the shipping, I'm, I don't like to wait around and hang around waiting for stuff and it takes... It can take weeks coming from America, well, at least 10 days, and then you've got to go through all the customs, and you pay more for the actual postage and package than you do for the actual things. The stuff in America is cheap, it's just all the, all the BAT and everything else on it, by the time you get it, you can't be bothered. Anyway, I went into uh, Europe, and uh, I went to a uh, Munch and Gladbach, and I found a guy called Harold Muck, H-A-R-A-L-D-M, umlaut U. C K E umlaut U just means it's got a U with two little dots on it. Looks like a smiley face, and uh, his his uh, his web uh, thing is um, spielmaterial.de. It's World Wide Web www spiel s p i e l material uh, dot d e, and uh, he had just about everything I needed, and his prices. They weren't cheap, but they weren't they were they were reasonable. And uh, I'll go on to them in a minute. I've got a couple of them here. Well, I've got one one of them here. I've got the the chest pieces, uh, the the backgammon pieces, which are um, they're actually um, plastic, but they look they've got a wooden look to them. Uh, I'll just see if I can zoom in on one for you. I'll just, I'm not good on camera work. I'm trying to get two in at one shot. Yeah, the plastic and they fit together on top of each other. And uh, I'd made the backgammon board, and I was going to do the pieces out of wood. Originally, but uh, there's 30 pieces, and I was going to make one for me and one for me son-in-law which is 60 pieces to chop up. Well, when you're 74, chopping up 70, uh, 60 pieces of wood is, is, is quite a, a feat. And uh, I, I lost interest. So anyway, I sent for these, and they were quite cheap. And they come in a, a little pack. You get 24 in a pack, so you need, if you're going to make two of these, because there's 60 of them, you're going to need... Um, couple of packs of this, of these, and uh, they're okay. I suppose you can paint them if you want. You'd have to make sure they're absolutely grease, grease free and then uh, either spray paint them or you could uh, acrylic paint them. I don't know how good acrylic is. Um, but I think you get uh, 24 pieces in a, in a pack like that, which is a, 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 a draft set, and then you get it's 48 pieces there all together, so you need three packs to make uh, a couple of things. And they weren't, they weren't, I just forget how much they were now, but they weren't all that expensive. Anyway, uh, I, I did try and use them on the, the board on the top, on my Senate board. But uh, I'll just zoom in on that. See if I can, anyway, for you.
Yeah, it doesn't seem to want to focus there for some reason. Oh, that's better. Um, yeah, I've left, I'm sorry, I've left a little thing in the back there. It's for, it's for this this other friend of mine. He, he wants to know what Cardinal Chess and uh, Fianchetto, Fianchetto and uh, oh, English openings and things like that. I'll, I'm going to get round to him later on. I, for, I forgot to take that out of the way anyway. It doesn't matter. Yeah, and the other pieces at the back are, are quite special because they're made of buttons. <laughs> You'd never believe it, they're, they're quite attractive. And what I did was I sent for some, I think the 20mm buttons, and these are they. I'll have to come back to, to get into this so as you can see these. These are the buttons I bought, just ordinary buttons. I think they're wood. And they were, they were relatively cheap. I think I got about four packs of these for about two or three quid, I think. But they're what I wanted and I had the feel and I got some brown ones to change the colour. I didn't want to paint them or anything. And these are the, these are the brown ones. They're, they're the ones that are on the board and they have got a little picture on. Not these, but the other ones have got. These have got a flower motif cut into them. And the other ones have got a picture on. And I've got different types. I've got some with um, some with more 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 things on than the other. As you can see. Yeah. So that one's got like a, a flowery effect on it. That one's got, I don't know what that's got, it's got hearts and things on it, that one. Which I haven't used that one yet. Try and get it in focus. That one's got hearts and things all over it. And the one that I've got on the board there, the one that I'm using at the moment, is this one with like palm trees or something on it. And uh, I thought, well, I'm going to get rid of them holes. Because <laughs> it's got the button holes in it, because they are buttons. And what I did, I got I got some of these from Smith's. And uh, what they are is they're just um, sticky things for kids at school. Uh, these here. And I got circles, small circles, big circles, uh, stars, uh, rectangles, and more circles. And um, I was using them for something else, but I thought about them and I thought, because there's varying ones, you get different ones, there's different sizes and it tells you on the back what, what's what. And uh, I don't know what they're still doing because I've had them for years, years and years. And um, yeah, anyway, it, they seem to work, so... Yeah, so that's my Senate game, and I put the, 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 the other pieces on just to, just to think, but I thought they were a bit flat looking and they weren't in, in vogue with a, 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 an Egyptian game, so I, I use them other little bits at the back instead, I think I will. Anyway, I'm trying everything I can think of. And the other game in the corner there, that's the backgammon, and the other one is, the, is Roll For it, it, which is a game I've just made. And I've got the boxes, and I've got the cards, and I'm going to show you that in a minute. Because I know uh, this guy who was asking for it in particular, uh, Leg, I think his name is, uh, he, uh, he'll he want to know about that. Anyway, I'm going to move the bits and pieces out of the way now, because I'm, I'll show, I'm going to try and show you what, what I've been buying from where. And uh, this is what he's interested in, the, the little bits and pieces, I know he is. And uh, I'll just move these out of the way. So that's that. That's me. Um, backgammon board and pieces finished, and I'm quite pleased with that. And it goes rather well. And the backgammon rules, of course, which you can get from anywhere. I mean, there's tons of these I mean I'll put the thing on the front so you can you can lay the board out while you get used to it with the bar in the middle and everything and that's the actual playing area that I've got I just cut the sides off and um, it's how you play the game I've got there basic the basic thing there's no things in it and it, there's a glossary for bearing off and uh, turn stakes remove re-enter and all that jazz so it, it, it it's a little bit of everything but not everything and um, the roll I've got there. Anyway, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna move this out of the way. I've got enough room there, I think. And these are the pieces that I've been buying. This is how you buy the pieces from Germany. Those are the little pieces for um, playing with. 
uh, backgammon and the ones that are already on the Senate board you can see there in the front row. And these, this is how I buy my buttons. I buy them in a series like this. I'm sure he's loving this, that guy leg. Well, that's how I buy my buttons. Just like that. Not like that, just like that. And then, I think I've shown you these before, I buy sets of dice in blocks because you use one of these blocks in one game at one time. So, I know they're all, what I do, I buy them in groups. So, you buy red, and then blue, yellow, and green, depending what games you're making. If you're making Ligretto, or roll it, you're going to use a whole one of them packs all together, except that you're going to have six in each, six of each colour, so you'll, you'll use six of each and then uh, it, that will make the game. So you can see there's, there's a, 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 a <laughs> you know, they don't last long if you're going to make a few games. Um, i got some coloured uh, pieces for smaller games. I'll just move these out of the way. I've got some coloured pieces for smaller games, which you can colour yourself if you want. You can paint them, or uh, I used to usually, usually paint them, but I used to cut these off by hand. I've got the poles and everything, and I never cut them square, and they didn't look all that good, but these are cut by a machine, and they're a lot better, and they're not really expensive. If I wanted a single colours or things like this, you can buy them individually as well. So you can buy so many at a time for a particular game. Um, and if you wanted black and white, you could buy black and white as well. And uh, I buy lots of these, which are, I call them the little dolly men. And I buy these because the wife can't pick them other ones up properly. She moans about them because they're too small. So I get these because she can get her fingers on the top of these, on around them, and we, we play with them. Um, and then I've got some special ones, which are a little bit more expensive. And they're, 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 they're knights in different colours. Wooden knights. All the pieces were wood, by the way, apart from the, the backgammon pieces or the draft pieces. Or even the buttons, they're all wood, except for the um, the dice. They're, they're made of a, like a dense plastic. Yeah, but these these are these are little wooden pieces, and they're exactly the same base as the the things that the other ones have got. And they're ideal for picking up if you want to play a game. You can't play a game where you can land things on each other, so you've got to watch what what you're doing. But um, I'm going to utilise them for something, and they, they go well on the on the. Uh, on the Senate game. Upset that I wanted them black and white so I'd have to paint them first or a red and white or red and gold or whatever colour so I'm going to have to paint them first before I put them on there. I'm thinking standing on my feet so um, I thought Ted might be interested in that. And then I got these because I use a lot of these and these are for younger people. They're not the wife hates these because she can't thingy them and they're counters what I call counters but I did you, you usually buy them in a mix and you've got to you got to thingy them and everything else well I wanted a set in colors I only wanted red green and and blue I've got a, loads of yellow ones there and these are little counters for playing the games and uh, I use a lot of them and well depending what which game it is I mean uh, I've got a game here uh, I've got one here, which is sequence, and you can see sequence here. That's a little throwing board in the throwing area, and it's got uh, there's 60 pieces there, so you can see they don't go far either. I don't know how many there are in the in the packet there, but they won't go far once you start using 60 at, 60 pieces at a time. So you've got 20 red, 20 green, and 20 blue to play the game to put on the mark to put on the sequence markers. Uh, I better show you the board for people that don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, they're going on a board like this. That's a sequence board. This, that's a homemade board as well. I'm sure I've showed that one many times. And uh, yeah, 
so that's it and I'm going to I'm going to go into the um, the roll it thing in a minute I'm going to I'm going to talk about roll it as an individual thing which will probably fit at the back end of this film per interest for, for, for the leg because uh, I think that's his name his, uh, his internet name and uh, yeah so roll it is a, a dice game that I haven't played yet so I've got no idea it's, 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 it's not a mind boggling game or anything like that but it's something that I haven't got a well I haven't seen a good write up except for children and a couple of people said they actually didn't even like it but uh, if my wife likes it, that's all I care about. <laughs> if the daughter likes it, that's all I care about. Whether I like it or not doesn't really matter. As long as they enjoy it, uh, it'll be okay. And uh, Anyway, I'll talk about that in a minute. I won't uh, waffle on about that. So that's all the pieces I've been using and buying just lately. And uh, I've been using acrylic paints. I've got some acrylic paints here, acrylic colours. I've got bottles of it and I've got other stuff. Uh, they're, my, they're my paints I buy a little packet I'm, I don't think they're expensive there's six in a packet you get white, black and three colours I think or four colours and uh, uh, I found them they're very good but they're a bit thick so I, I, I've started to buy these now as individual units which gives me a much more much, it's much more fluid and because uh, I, I don't want to put water in, I don't want any water in it at all because the paper buckles, the minute you put water on it buckles and with artist colours you've got to put water in to make the colours mix and you utilise it like watercolours until it actually dries uh, for anybody that knows about acrylic paints and I've been using it for years and I find that they're, they're quite easy to use but they're no good because they're, for me because they've got water in you use water with them and I like to use the things neat and this this is okay for using neat and the reason it's got to be neat is because the paper will buckle and once the paper's buckle you can't use it for anything I need paper that lies flat anyway I'll stop there I hope this has been uh, satisfactory for, for Ted it's something he wanted to see and and watch and uh, thingy and uh, I hope you have enjoyed it I enjoyed making it I hope <laughs>